Football Dad's Army, listen, I've got something to admit. I've got something to admit I was wrong. I was I was couldn't have been more wrong about this trip to the by the winter break training camp for Arsenal. I was so wrong, wasn't I? So, since the return from Dubai, Arsenal have played four games. Uh, we beat Crystal Palace 5 0, Nottingham Forest 2 1, Liverpool, Liverpool 3 1, and last night smashing the absolute granny out of West Ham. Now, this is something that I disagreed with. We Before that, we'd lost three games, including one to West Ham. Um, before we went to Dubai, and I thought, why are you rewarding these players? They they need to be punished. They need to stay in the cold weather. They need to train hard and focus. Get this winter break. Get them at London Colney and get them training in the cold weather. Like all of us, all the fans who ain't on holiday have to have to stick with this cold weather. How wrong was I? That that winter break in Dubai, that warm weather training, absolutely reignited the squad. And I am so proud of them. So, last night's performance was outstanding. Outstanding. Even after that winner um, against Liverpool the week last week, the week before, the Sunday before, pundits were still writing us off, nah. They, no, that's, you know, Liverpool might have had an off day. They didn't focus on the quality of Arsenal. And last night was, abs oh, yesterday afternoon, sorry, was immense. It was absolutely immense and they deserved their flowers. I ain't heard nothing uh, from Jamie Carragher, that arse wipe, piping up, saying, uh, moaning about the celebrations or any other pundits. I've, I've been trying to look around and see if I can find anything negative. But it seems to me that finally other fans on, on YouTube and, you know, there's certain elements of the mainstream media that are starting to think, you know what? These, you know, they're not favourites for the title. They may be like I think we're not quite there yet, but we've got a chance. And if we're in it, we've got a chance to win it. Now I think Arsenal from last night's performance are, uh, are gonna are gonna go on and win the next. Based on that performance, definitely we've got we've got Burnley. I think we've got Sheffield United. They're winnable games. I think Newcastle are in there as well. In, uh, that's a winnable game, definitely. And we've got Porto as well in the Champions League, either side. I'm not quite sure. I think we've got Burnley, then Porto, Newcastle, Sheffield United, something like that, and then Porto again. I think, I really, really think that we can win all them games. Them next five games, I'm not sure. Is it Newcastle? I might be wrong about Newcastle, but I'm sure it's Burnley and Sheffield United involved in that. Maybe I should have checked it before I'd done the video, but it's too late now. Uh, but they're five definite winnable games. And then, and then the, the hardest game we've got coming up, which, is, which um, I'm worried about, is going to the Etihad Stadium. That's the only game left I think we've got to worry about. I am rejuvenated myself, my own confidence. After that last night, uh, yesterday afternoon, after watching that, Destruction. I know West Ham ain't been in good form since they beat us. Since they beat Arsenal, the last time they haven't um, they haven't won a game. I think they lost three drawn two, something like that. But you know, I don't care. I don't care about that. I'm basing it on the performance. Every player relaxed. Even Havertz. Even Havertz had a good game, and I don't rate him one little bit. Let me know what you think in the comments about that, and I'll be back again soon. See you later.